Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very relaxed type of video. Basically, I felt compelled to sit down today and share with you guys some fragrances that I want to wear during the fall and winter. So this fall and winter, these fragrances right here are the ones that I think that I'm going to be pulling to the most. Now, I'm kind of at a point in my collection where I'm tired of wearing the same things. And I recently got so many new fragrances. Some I bought and some were sent. Uh, some I picked up in Paris from all over the place. And I really loved so many fragrances that I discovered. And that's kind of hasn't happened to me for quite a while. So in this video today, I have some fragrances that you guys have never even ever heard me speak about. Uh, some fragrances I've worn like once, but I really want to wear them more and some fragrances I just think are incredible So we have a mix of everything, but I'm telling you guys right now I wanted to sit down with you and share with you what I think I'm gonna be wearing the most this fall All of them are pretty much new fragrances to my collection. So I'm very excited to share it with you today So the first one I will start with a fragrance that I have worn a lot and I just love it so much I think it's gonna be one of my most worn in the fall and winter and before we go on i know people are going to say oh you live in dubai there is no such thing as fall and winter you're right there is no such thing as fall and winter still doesn't mean that i i can pretend you do get a coolness in dubai in the winter like at night time you need to wear a little sweater and stuff so it does get cooler and after christmas uh in january i'm going to austria so very excited, we're going skiing in Austria, so I can wear some of these fragrances then as well. Anyways, let's go. Andy Tower Accord du Desert. This is an incredible, oh wow. Every time I smell it guys, I just think this is a masterpiece. Uh, some people will prefer the Le du Desert Marocain or the Accord du Desert. Now me, I like the Accord du Desert because it's a little less animalic. This is a super dry, spicy, sweet, woody, ambery scent. And like I said, very, very, very dry. I get so many compliments when I wear this fragrance and something that I love about this scent is that it lasts. It's one of my very few fragrances within my collection that when I wear it, I can smell myself. Like I can smell what I'm wearing when I wear a Cordu du Desert. And for me, it really is a test of the quality of this scent and the brand in general. I wear their fragrances, Andy Tower. I wear the fragrances and I can really smell myself for hours. I can smell that I'm projecting, that it's very strong, that it's long lasting. And that's what I really love about it. So for me, one of the best fragrances ever for the fall and winter. And honestly, one of the best ambery type of scents in general. So Andy Tower, Accord du Desert. Absolutely, you need to check this one out. It's just wonderful. And also I want to say, don't think because I'm just talking about like more newer scents that I'm not going to wear my old favorites. Like obviously I'm going to. I just wanted to make my video a little more fresh and share with you guys some new fragrances that I'm loving and I want to wear in the fall. This one I've already spoken about on my channel, but I got a bottle in Paris. It is Spiritus de Blevigny from Guerlain. Best vanilla period, hands down in the world. One of the best vanillas ever. I also really love Angelique Noir. Why is my camera doing something strange? But I also love Angelique Noir, Queer Beluga. Um, there is one, I, Bois d'Armini, oh, I forgot the name. But from this line, the Art of Materials collection, you cannot go wrong with any of them. So honestly, go and smell them all and pick your favorite and, and take it home and fall in love. I think one of my favorites for the fall and winter, it's Spiritus du Blevigny. Uh, Angelique Noir and Queer Beluga, but I wanted to talk about Spiritus du Blevigny since I haven't had it in my collection for a long time and I'm very happy to have it back because it's honestly one of the sexiest, most delicious vanillas ever. Very boozy, very sweet, very dark. It, if you've ever smelled raw natural vanilla, like what it smells like coming straight from Madagascar, which I did have the chance to smell uh, something very close to that, it really, you can smell that the quality of the vanilla in here is really, really, really high and very intense. It doesn't, the natural vanilla, it doesn't smell exactly like this. It's more green, more dirty, more leathery. That's what natural vanilla really smells like. But in here, you can tell that it's a very high quality vanilla. Just love it. Fantastic fragrance, Spiritus de Beveni. I will be wearing this one a lot. Next up, I want to talk about one I just got recently. It's from Mise en Seine. It's called Poudre d'or, golden powder. Let's just say it like that. Now, I missed having this one 
in my collection because I love it. It's such a comforting, cozy, cashmere -y, musky, irisy, sweet scent. I just love this fragrance. I love the, the sweetness. It really feels like a hug from your mom. I'm actually gonna spray it because I just want to smell this right now. I just love this. I'm so happy to have it back in my collection. It was left in Australia and I just got a new bottle like two weeks ago. I adore this scent. It's one of my favorite from Maison Sur along with one other that I have in this video. And I also love For Your Love. That's also a great one. And in general, I just think that this is perfect, mostly for the fall. It's starting to get a little bit cold. You're wearing a beautiful coat. You have a scarf and you want to wear something very relaxing, luxurious, soft, comforting. This is the fragrance that I would wear personally. It has a touch of a summery note in there because there is some tiara flower, which is a very tropical flower. And it's just cocooned with like some musk, some like powderiness, but not too obvious. It's sweet, but not too much. It's got this beautiful cocooning musk, and I just think it's absolutely amazing. It really reminds me of like a mum, like uh, in a good way. Like it really smells like a hug from your mum, who's very luxurious and expensive and bougie. I just love this one. Golden Powder from Maison Sur, definitely check this one out. It's one of my favorites, especially for the fall time. And also I love to wear it to go to bed. So next up we have Symphonium from Zerzhov. My code just ended and you guys were crazy. They told me that they couldn't believe how many people used the code Demi10. It was shocking, um, which I'm very happy. I've been seeing your Instagram posts about your Zerzhov uh, orders. And a lot of people ordered Italica, Bouquet Deal, and I think that it was mostly Italica that people ordered, to be honest. Now, for the fall, this fall and winter, I'm going to be taking Symphonium out because I just got it recently. And I think it's one of the best, most creative gourmand scents that I've ever tried. It's really, it's really wow. Let me spray it here. I like, honestly guys, there is no other way that you can describe this scent. It's chocolate and orange. Chocolate, orange, it almost smells like a mix of Angel Muse from Mugler mixed with like an orange uh, fragrance. Like literally it has this kind of chocolatey, powdery, nutsy vibe like in Angel Muse, Angel Muse from Mugler. And then it has the orange. Yeah, it's just, amazing like absolutely amazing and i'm obsessed like i'm obsessed with it and i think i'm gonna wear it a lot this fall and winter in specific occasions like for me a scent like this is not really sexy it's more like interesting it's more like what is that person wearing uh who's the one that smells like chocolate and orange right now and it's just it's just great and i cannot wait to wear it especially when it's very 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 cold when i go to austria i will wear this one a lot uh, next up, I'm going to share with you guys, honestly, at, at some point, I understand if you guys think I'm crazy because I'm always saying, oh my God, I found the best fragrance ever, but I am constantly testing out fragrances, constantly testing out fragrances. There is so many fragrances that I've tried and never spoke to you guys about because for me, I don't really like them or I don't really think that they're that great. And I'm sorry if you get annoyed by me hyping a fragrance, but I have to share it with you. Like you guys online are my friends. Like I feel like I'm speaking and sharing my passion with my friends that are watching. So I discovered this fragrance and I'm just obsessed with it. I discovered it actually in Paris and I got my bottle about three weeks ago and I have not stopped wearing it. Oh my God, guys. It is from Tamine and it is called Peregrino. Oh boy. I don't know what it is about this scent, but for me, I would consider this the female aphrodisiac. One of the sexiest fragrances I've ever tried for a woman. This is it right here. Now I have tried a few more from Tamin and I have to say, this is a house that I slept on personally. I knew that it was quite well established and a lot of people loved and enjoyed this house and I'm very passionate about it. But for some reason, it's not very accessible in Dubai. Like it's not at Dubai Mall, Mall of the Emirates. It's harder to find. So I kind of never really took notice except for when I went to Jovoir in Paris. 
and I went through and smelled everything. And this fragrance, I could not stop thinking about. Literally, guys, I could not stop thinking about this fragrance. It really is an aphrodisiac. You wear this as a girl, you're gonna get people drooling and coming and walking up to you drooling. That's how good this scent is. Since I got this scent in my collection, I have not stopped. What the fuck? It's caramel, it's amber, it's some white flowers, like some like sexy jasmine, some sexy gardenia, but it's very much underneath. The more prominent notes to me is that caramel note, but not in a juvenile way. It doesn't smell juvenile at all. It's more of like this seductive aphrodisiac caramel. Vanilla, there's a little bit of rose underneath. It's basically like this sexy, floral, sweet gourmand scent. That's what I would describe it. I'm sorry, but I just don't know how to put into words how much I love it. I cannot say enough good things. I'm finished, that's it, I'm done. Longevity, amazing. Compliments, amazing. 10 out of 10, it's my top, one of my top, top, top fragrances of all time. It's sitting right on my middle shelf with all of my favorites. And yeah, Peregrina by Tamin. Best fragrance, best scent, sexiest fragrance ever. Oh la la. Me, I, guys, I cannot tell you. Maybe you're gonna be underwhelmed, but me, I just love it. I think it is wow. The next one I have is from Wilhelm, and it is not Poets of Berlin. Berlin. Everyone was coming for me. I mean, guys, come on. Like, my boyfriend is French, that's how he pronounces everything, so sometimes it just rubs off, and I say Poets of Berlin as well. And it was because everyone I met in France, even the people introducing me to the brand of Wilhelm, were French, saying Poets of Berlin. So, don't come for me. It's just a force of habit and the people that you're surrounded by. Same thing as goes for with my accent. People think I'm really faking it and stuff. Are you serious? Like, are you serious? How can I keep up a fake accent? Like how? I have been with my boyfriend now, like consecutively for almost two years straight. There is no way that an accent cannot like rub off on you. Or maybe it just happens like that. I literally haven't even spent one week apart from my boyfriend in almost two years. So it's not possible for my accent to just magically disappear. It just happened naturally and I'm not trying so I just wanted to say that because it really pisses me off when I see comments like that because how can I pretend actually I look back at my videos and I miss my very Australian accent and I'm sure when I go back to Australia it will come back anyways Fleur Burlesque this is a super heady sexy animalic white floral in my eyes it's very 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 strong very feminine very sexy, a little dirty. It reminds me of a girl who's like, she's a, she's naughty, she's kinky. And I just love it. It's a green uh, gardenia type of scent. There is some sandalwood in here. It's a little earthy, a little green, like I said. I think there is jasmine in here as well. So it's like a very, very white floral, very heady. But what I like about it is that it doesn't smell too buttoned up. Like it doesn't smell like this very proper uh, British woman wearing white flowers, like the queen. It smells like more dirty, sexy. This girl is, uh, she, she knows what she's doing. And I love it. So Fleur Burlesque from Wilhelm, absolutely amazing. And also I would have included Poets of Berlin, but I wanted to try to include newer scents. But I do have a Wilhelm video coming very soon, so stay tuned. All right, let's go to En Son Suave from Mathieu Premier. Now, there is so many from Mathieu Premier that I could have included. Santal Austral, uh, Oud 7, Falcon Leather, but they're more a little more masculine. Uh, Parisian musk is also beautiful for a fall and winter, but I wanted to highlight En Son Suave because I think it's very unique and I think this potentially could become a very, very, very big heavy hitter, I think, in the niche world because it's so interesting. It's so... It's just wow. Like, it almost reminds me of like when Baccarat Rouge first came out and everyone was like, what is that? That's kind of what Anson Suave reminds me of. It's so interesting, unique, it's sexy, it's powerful, it's long lasting, it projects enormously. It's very sweet and addictive. It's a very incense based fragrance, but the incense is like caramelized. It's almost like you burn caramel 
and you put some like smoke or something and the smoke coming up is very sweet, very smoky, a little like leathery almost. And it's just wow, like it's really intoxicating. So I wanted to include this one, even though personally the one from Mattia Premier that I wear the most is Santal Astral. That's the one I wear the most, but I have to say, on Son Suave for me, I think it is just wow. I really see this becoming a big hitter in the in the community. It's along the lines of like what Bakra Rouge was, what Oud for Greatness is, what Son Suave will be. That's what I see it as personally. I don't know why. I just see it. So yeah, Son Suave from Mathieu Premier. Always has like a bit of like, it has this coffee smell as well. There is coffee in here for sure. I remember but it comes out after but mostly you get this sweet burning incense with a little bit of this back note of nutsy dark chocolatey coffee wow wow i remember somebody just said that the way i rub the blood on my nose makes them uncomfortable <laughs> sorry about that to you next up i have one of my best vanillas my best new vanilla recommendations to you guys ever of all time Insulo by Jeroboam. You can even see the color. It leaves a it leaves a mark on its blotter because it's so potent. Insane. I smelled this at Jovois and I told the owner, his name is Francois. I was like, what the fuck? It's amazing because Jovois, it's uh they have their own two brands, which is Jovois and they have Jeroboam. That's the two brands under the retail store of Jervois. They own those brands. I'm not trying to say this to sound rude because I love this guy, Francois. We met him many times in Paris, but I wasn't really sure what to expect about his brands. Like, I wasn't sure at all because I just didn't know what to expect. Like, I'm sorry, that's just what I mean. And I was shocked, 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 shocked. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of their bottles, but the quality of the juice and the scents, you guys, they're incredible. Insulo is one of the best vanillas I currently have in my collection. It's sexy, it's super sweet. I would say it leans a little more feminine. It has some jasmine. It's a little bit powdery, it's musky. It's very, it's sexy. Like it's really, really a sexy scent. Insulo by Jeroboam. Guys, if you want a straight up vanilla, that's incredibly sexy. And a little more feminine than you need to get this one. The Jasmine is not too prominent. It kind of just gives that like little like dirty animalic tiny touch underneath, but not so much. It's mostly a strict vanilla type of scent but it is really wow. So next up, I have one from Amouage and it is Material for Women. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when this first, uh, when I first got the bottle of this one, because they did send it to me, I didn't really pay too much attention to it and I'm not really sure why, it just, I think at that time I was getting ready to go away. It was, uh, I had other priorities, but I love this scent so much. <laughs> For the fall and winter, this is incredible. The perfumer behind this is Cecile, <laughs> sorry Cecile, Cecile Zarokian, and I actually met her in Paris. That's not why I'm including this. I have so many of her fragrances that she made. Nishane Annie, um, Cafe Cabanal, uh, what else? Uh, anyways, I have loads of her fragrances, so if I wanted to include all of them, I would, but I just noticed this scent recently and I couldn't believe how good it is. It's what I love is the tonka bean. For me, you really, really smell this deep, woody, smoky, sweet, creamy tonka bean with a lot of guyac wood, a lot of incensey qualities. I just love it. It's slightly, it's creamy. It's a little tiny bit like leathery almost. It's deep, it's rich, it's a little smoky, but so well blended. So, so, so well blended. And the tonka bean for me is definitely the star of the show in this fragrance. And I love tonka bean. I cannot wait to wear this one more when the weather starts to cool down a bit because it is incredible. I wasn't a fan of the men's uh, addition to this line, Boundless. I really didn't like it because it was too in your face, spicy, everything, but material is really 
top incredible for the fall and winter. Like very oriental. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so next up, this one might come to a surprise because it's, for me, it's not really a fall winter scent. For me, this is more of a signature scent for a man. A guy, he wears this all year round, 24 seven. He smells insane. This is like a signature, all season, all occasion versatile, but there is something about it that I want to pull it out in the fall and winter. And it is perfect oud from Maison Sir. I, again, I just got this one. I got a uh, For Your Love uh, Golden Powder and Perfect Oud. And you guys, Perfect Oud is incredible. For me, I think it's probably the best Maison Sir. Uh, alongside maybe For Your Love, but For Your Love for me is a little like more commercial, very mass appealing. Perfect Oud is a unique take on Oud in my eyes. It is a very clean, sophisticated, sexy, sexy, sexy Oud scent. Like it is Oud, but it's done in a clean way, but it really smells just like a clean Oud. There is oud, there is juniper, there is some rose, there is some bergamot, some coriander, but I'm really telling you guys, imagine oud and think of it brushed up and made into a clean way. That's what it smells like. I see this on a really sexy guy, like really, really, really sexy. He's always in a suit, he works a really great job, He's he has a signature about him, that's the person that I see wearing perfect oud. But I only just started wearing it recently, but it, for me it's more like when I want to be taken seriously, when I want to smell sexy and, and don't bother me, that's when I wear Perfect Dude. Wow, it's absolutely amazing, especially I think in the fall and winter. I think it could be really, really incredible. Quickly gonna mention a fragrance that I, you guys already know I love and I will be wearing all the time this fall. It's Iris Malika. It's newer to my collection, like I got it in Paris, but when I got it in Paris, I did not stop wearing it. There is something so complex and unique and beautiful about this scent. It is not your typical iris. It's a very waxy, dark, mysterious, leathery, green, earthy iris. And that's not usually the type of scent that I like at all. But there was something that drew me towards it. And there was just something that I loved about it so much. I just cannot even explain it. I just resonated with this scent, which I was surprised as well myself because it's not usually the sort of fragrance that I attract myself towards. But there is something about Iris Malikan that I find so special and I cannot stop wearing it. So love it so much, my baby. I'll be wearing it all fall and winter. Yeah, Iris Malikan. I have had so many technical difficulties with this video. <laughs> it's almost like I'm not supposed to film today. <laughs> oh well, we're continuing. I was literally just talking for five minutes and my camera wasn't recording, so I feel like I could cry right now. Anyways, uh, I was talking about this fragrance that I love so much. And again, it's from the house of Tamin. It's not a sponsored video or nothing, guys. It's just that I discovered the house recently in Paris and I loved so many from the brand that I want all of them. The other fragrance that I love for the fall and winter is called The Hope. This is a super sexy, spicy, amber, wow. Sweet, not too sweet. It's almost got this kind of like dried fruity smell to it. Like this dried fruit, some amber, some spice, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, very oriental, very spicy, a little bit green almost as well. And it is just a 12 out of 10. The Hope from Tamin. I think it almost will smell better on a man than a woman, even though I wear it all the time. I love it. I'm just saying, if you're a guy watching this, this is really one to check out. Then we have another one from uh, Jeroboam. And again, it's just because I fell in love with these fragrances. It's not for any reason. I don't care about the brand as in, I don't care if they are happy or sad that I'm including them in the video. It's my video. Wow. Pierre and I were talking about this scent it's like this very delicious amber, slightly spicy, powdery, a little bit green. And we were speaking about it because we feel like it has this base of like intoxicated vibe from Killian. Like it almost has that 
that thing that we both love about Intoxicated, it feels like it's in the base of this fragrance. It is just whoa. It is whoa, 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 guys. 12 out of 10, sexy amber, more unique. I'm kind of sick of all the amber fragrances smelling the same. Like all of them smell really similar. Either they're along the lines of like Grand Soir or they're along the lines of like that spicy, fruity amber. This is really unique, really special, but slightly powdery, slightly balsamic, a little fresh. It has this tiny green touch. It's just really well. Ombra from Jeroboam, definitely check this one out. If you want a unique amber, this is incredible. And finally, to wrap up this video, I'm gonna say I will be wearing Shalimar. I just got Shalimar in Paris and I will be wearing it. I got the Eau de Toilette because for me, the Eau de Parfum is just a little too much. But Shalimar, we all know it. We all either love or hate it. Me, I wanted to have it in my collection for a long time. Um, and here she is. <laughs> so I really, I think that I will pull towards her a little bit in the fall and winter. Even though out of all of the iconic designer fragrances, Chanel, Guerlain, Dior, whatever, my favorite is probably Coco from Chanel, but I no longer have it. It's in Perth. But for now, I will be wearing my beautiful baby Shalimar Eau de Toilette. She's leathery, she's powdery, she's very dirty, but at the same time clean. It's a very strange scent, but I love it. Shalimar. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will list all of the fragrances down below. I never bother to put the links anymore. I'm sorry. I just write what fragrances I'm talking about in the video. Um, anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed it and yeah.